It's going on a Kohler 14 horse engine. You can get these off. Amazon has like 6,000 of these sold. I saw eBay had like 4,400 from one seller. And there's like a 20% return rate. And we'll give you the two most important tips of why I think these are returned. And I'm going to show you what's going to give some longevity to this fuel pump. Now the first tip I'm going to give you is how to get this snap ring on. You don't need snap ring pliers. Bring the snap ring over like this and then you're going to pull up. Don't try to start at the top and push down. It's much easier bring the snap ring over like this and then you're going to pull up one side. See how it just snapped into place? Now pull up the other side. Just like that. And now you have the snap ring pushing in the retainer. And now you can insert your fitting. Now for the most important tip of all. I pour a little bit of fresh motor oil inside the pump. And then I work this uh, up and down for maybe 30 seconds or so. Get the oil worked around inside there. So if you look on Amazon, there's hundreds of reviews that people say these things work for five minutes and then quit working. Well, once you install it, start up your tractor, this thing's pumping like probably a thousand times in the first minute. And the oil's getting slung in here after it's already kind of started to wear. So getting the oil in here now is going to prevent premature wear and should make this pump last a lot longer. So before I install this on this tractor, I kind of leave it tipped back just a little bit. But I want just a little bit of oil left in there. And then I'm going to tip it on to the engine block, bolt it on, and this pump should last a long time. Now, I buy a lot of my parts from iSave Tractors. Good quality parts, good people. If you have technical questions, they answer your questions very quickly through email within about 24 hours. Hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.